It's week 12 of the National Football League. And we'll get a look here at Josh Allen. He got his reps in a week ago, over 400 yards through the air. It's the Steelers and the Bengals, and it comes your way next. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at what's now known as Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Today, week 12 of the NFL season is upon us, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon to my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They are hot as can be, winners of eight of their last nine games. I don't know if you call this start a surprise exactly, but they've proven that they're going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they come in playing reasonably well. Losers the last time out, but winners of four of five before that. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Here come the Bengals now to take over. Leading them out, the last active player remaining from the 05 draft, and a name that dominates headlines year-round, Aaron Rodgers. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well won the ball game bottom line may not have been earth shattering but it didn't need to be that's to about the 28 second down coming up now during that run an injury here we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look and we will take a short break here's second and seven now from the 28 Again, Patterson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 17 of a Cincinnati first down. That old line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot getting all the way downfield where they're blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down, this rushing attack sure looks pretty effective here on this opening drive. Yeah, they're finding gaps with very little problem right now. If this is going to consistently be this way throughout the game, there's going to be some adjustments made on the defensive side of the ball. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. They show up a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. The Bengals at 9-1 on the year. They've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience all on display in that victory. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Patterson running between the tackles to the 27-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Rodgers. And this one's incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, and it's third down. 
So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. He completes it to Burrow. And he's going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Rodgers again now. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. It's a pickup of 12 and that'll set up the third down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down in particular, not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. And he's got it. Touchdown. Bengals. Tyler Algier. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you, along the way. And they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp. Guys are focused. Everyone's feeling good. And we're seeing it early in this one. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by the pride of Wyoming in his sixth season with one of the league's strongest arms, Josh Allen. And while he won't admit it because his team lost the game, he had some fun in the last one. He I threw mean, for over 400 yards. I mean, there's no getting around it. As a QB, yeah, okay. We lost the game, but boy, that felt good flinging it around. Now he's got to figure out how to do the exact same thing, yet turn it into a win. We're taking a look at Hall's numbers from a week ago. 23 carries, 101 yards, and a score. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week, and that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field so well. But don't forget about his offensive line. They really asserted their will out there and are confident they can repeat it again this week. And Charles, this defense, they know that they've got their work cut out for them. Here's a quarterback coming off a game in which he threw four touchdowns. And they've watched the tape all week. They've seen it, but what can they do differently? I think they've got to approach it like a pitcher facing a really hot batter. Get him uncomfortable in the box. Change speeds, change locations, change the pitches you throw at him. So show different coverages. Blitz sometimes, drop back other times. Just don't let him get comfortable or let him get into rhythm. Hand off, running left. Here's Hall. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. From midfield, here's Allen. They'll find Henderson there. It's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now this defense for the Bengals, they were very solid last week in the victory over Baltimore. Yeah, but definitely in top form. And pitched a shutout, as a matter of fact. That's the cherry on top of a great week of preparation. And you know what? These guys are eager to keep it going. Some motivation this week, not an issue. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, Allen. 
This will complete to turn it underneath. You talk about this Bengals defense. They were very solid last week in the victory over Baltimore. Yeah, they pitched a shutout in that game, didn't they? And those don't come around all that often in the NFL. The ability to keep someone out of the end zone and also from kicking them through the post. Well done. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 24-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. Now a second and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Now Allen off the bootleg. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. you got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Now, it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured stealer on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Allen now looks to throw. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he cannot get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. The kick by Moore is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Play action. Rodgers. He's going deep for Brown. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10 yard line. Well, Bart, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. On second down, a run with Patterson. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. As the game is seven, brings up third and three. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. To throw is Rodgers. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And Steeler defense locked in, forcing an upcoming fourth down. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. 
Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. An incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And the Steeler D will celebrate the goal line stand. They kept it in the air on fourth, Charles. They ran on first and second down, tried it through the air on third and fourth, couldn't come away with anything on fourth and goal. And remember, in these situations, the field is really condensed. Everything is squeezed tight. So as a defender, you can actually take more chances here because they won't have as much time to throw the football, and a receiver really can't run past you. If they do, they run out of the back of the end zone. Nice job by the D, shutting them down. On second down, here's Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, and he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the throwing football. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. Straight ahead is Hall. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Allen looks to throw on second down. Now a short one to Gesicki. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. This offense so far on third down, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Allen. This pass out wide to Hall. And he will have the Steelers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up the first down. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Now Allen. And his throw is incomplete. That's a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Throwing his Allen on third. He'll get this out of eight to Henderson. And they'll get him down at the 34. And he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Taking it at about the 16. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. Throw left side complete. That's Boyd. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Rodgers now on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Patterson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Hickman's first catch, good for a first down. And a good quarterback 
facing zone coverage if he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene that's what's going to happen no doubt about it if there's no pressure he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield if you don't cover for so long so maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme get a little bit more pressure remember when carolina did that against denver they lost the game ultimately they dropped the defensive end out and he ended up with an interception in that game in super bowl 50 Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Straight ahead, Patterson. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. A gain of three, second down. Algier now up the middle. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down the 8 yard line. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Rodgers now to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. Pass taken in. That was big tight end. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. the gun it's Rodgers and oh it'll be intercepted it's Devin White the linebacker and the Steelers are going to take possession here it's a touchback and they'll take over at the 20 yard line CD when he went to throw that I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was or whatever the case not the throw you're looking for on first and goal not at all because look let's face it that close to the goal line if you throw an interception is going to hurt on any down but really the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal and you throw the pick, not good at all. And he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. The rush defense down on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Allen. Now a short one to Gesicki. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the fall start. Here's Allen to throw it. And that is incomplete. Passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And the Bengals will take over here first and ten. The do-it-all weapon, Cordero Patterson, coming back out. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 53 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because in a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first and ten, it's Algier. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. 
Chargers going to throw. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now Rodgers. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a bonus first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you have a zone good scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Rodgers to throw once more. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Rodgers now on third and goal. Back in the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That was a difficult catch, and I admire the fact that he actually caught the football, worked so hard to get his feet down in bounds, tried to do the toe tap. Uh, my dad's an accomplished tap dancer. I'm not sure he would have gotten his feet in on that one. Is he really? Yeah, that, that, that he is. Not that word about young Davis. No, no, it did not. It did not cross it didn't the carry over. No, it stopped right there. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll tip by in this first half. So we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, bye weeks, they're over. We've once again got a full slate of games to get to as we take you around the NFL here in Week 12. first half from the former MVP Aaron Rodgers. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. Well, the Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And he 
he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. This will be complete to Mechie. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. So the false start will back them up five. False start. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. To the air, Allen. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. The Bengals with two extra DBs. A nickel look on third. Blanket in the passing lanes. Allen off the play fake. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. This is taken at the 15. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Beginning on the ground with Patterson. Dancing away at the 35. And he's got a Bengals first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, going back to Patterson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. DeForest Buckner using that size to force his way in there and make the stop behind the line. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Algier going straight ahead. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Here's third and 10. To throw, it's Rodgers. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 38-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Back to the ground now, Patterson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Holding offense. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. On the give, it's Algier. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Stuck for the loss by Devin White. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Now Rodgers, a free play. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. 
And the penalty helps, but not a whole lot. It's still third and long. Throwing now is Rodgers. And is caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Algier will take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point attempt here still to come. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was Tyler Algier capping things off with a touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Now Allen off the bootleg. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. On second down, a run we hold. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. To throw, it's Allen. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Finally held down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Well, how about that? set on defense six defensive backs none of them blitz they're just back there in coverage defensive lineman gets the sack that's where the o-line they go to the sideline they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them right yeah the cameras can't find them but i know one thing the o-line coach will the steelers send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away A good kick, 48 yards, four on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here are the Bengals set to take over. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's Patterson again. And he's going to bring his way forward to the 48. 76 yards rushing for him now to this point. Here's third and a few inches. Here's Rodgers to throw. Able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. This second and four. Give down cheer from the shotgun. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's a gain of three. It's third and one. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. 
Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They'll give to Algier out of the gun. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Brought down there by Taylor Rapp. So second and ten, third quarter. Thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. going to get to the line to run another play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close we'll return with more after this this is the nfl and it's on ea sports this offense has converted two third downs on this drive already this is third and four the tight end kettle has it on the left side and finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. To throw is Rodgers. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Rodgers now to throw. Throws left side. Atwell's got it. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down, and he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. So that uh, maybe not a knockout blow, but I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now the pass, and it's into the arms of Hopkins. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Allen going to throw. Over the middle, he's got Gesicki, the big 6'5 tight end. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. He's across midfield, and he'll take this down the 40-yard line. Personal foul. Baseman. Defense. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Running left is Henderson. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Play action. Allen. Catch is made by Hardman. Touchdown. Nicole Hardman. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Steelers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So very late in the game here, but with that score, some light at the end of the tunnel. There's still hope. Now they look at the score and say, hold on a second. This thing's not over yet. Let's keep battling.
Brett Maher on for the extra point. And it's up through the goal post at 17-10. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second and six, just inside the 30. Algier with another carry. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. He's third down and six. Rodgers going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. Now a handoff to Algier, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver, but he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front, so if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. And they're working across midfield inside the 45. Give them 17 and a Cincinnati first down. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and six. Here's Rodgers. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. They'll run on first down with Akers. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Now it's Rodgers. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should be picked up. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. now on first down. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. To the air. Allen. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Bengals. 
Bills are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. And that is incomplete. That throw is definitely one that he would love to have back. I wonder what's going through his head. I wonder what kind of mind game he's playing with himself to get himself back on track. Because a lot of guys, that's what they do. They have little triggers that when the mechanics are off, if they make a bad throw, that they go to that place to get themselves back in sync. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. That certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. On the ground, it's Algier. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. On play action, it's Rodgers. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Meanwhile, third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think we've hit that point in the game now where any score you get could be the one that actually wins it. So above all, you want to avoid a turnover that leaves you coming away with nothing. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So that one CD going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And it's a run to run now. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now we've got a timeout for an injured player, and oh, this is certainly notable. That's Josh Allen who's in some pain out there. Time not on their side. They've got one timeout. The two-minute warning to work with as well. But they need points. First and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I ain't going to scan downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Throwing again. Bridgewater on second and ten. That'll be swung out wide here for Henderson. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. The towels are waving. Steeler fans on their feet. It's third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Well, you need your best play here, no doubt. Fourth down and eight. Bridgewater. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he is going to have the Steelers' first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. That's good. 
way to the two yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Bridgewater to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Eddie Jackson picks it, and the Bengals are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, the uh, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And they've got to feel good about this performance. I think you'd agree. Matched up against a top five defensive unit in the league. And they pretty much had their way. Yeah, that was, that was the interesting part about it. Because normally, when we see this defense play, they have their opportunities and they make their plays, don't they? They knock them back on their heels. They take the ball away. They, they change field position. In this case, what you said is so apt. They had their way with them. Took it to them and knock them back on their heels and surprise the heck out of them. So for the Bengals, they get win number 10 on the year as they move to 10 and one. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, we'll see how this affects their playoff standing as they fall to seven and four now of the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.